previously. Uh, what did I want to do next? Oh, it's morning. That is beautiful. Oh, do you guys want to see something cool? I don't think I've ever shown this off. But uh, shooting stars cannot exist in the daytime. So if I just drop one on the floor, it explodes. You cannot have... I'll drop I'll throw two away. Look. They just explode because they can't exist during the day. They just vanish. Walter, my old friend, talk to me. Uh, these aren't worth very much. You know what? I don't even care about the rest of this stuff. Just take it. You want 500 arrows? You can have 500 arrows. Next up, Angler. What you got? He wants... Oh, we can do that! That's a pirate fish. We caught a few of those, didn't we? Yeah, let's start completing these questers. Ooh, we only have the one. Captain Tuna Beard. Ooh. Can we still catch it even after we've turned it in? That's interesting. That is so interesting, in fact. It's worth going to catch a few more. Since we know we can do it, we should go over there and do it. But before we do that, I want to quickly talk to Guide. Or Guide Dylan. Tell me what I call. Just water and five of them in an imbuing station. That's fantastic. Right, so we know how to make... Flasks of I call me two of these. Come down here. We put these two away, and now we can make enough. And out here, we want to grab up uh, this. Yep, sure, that will do. Put one back, and then we want to come over here and grab up our new fishing rod, like that. And you know what? Should we use some potions? We got fishing potions somewhere. Yeah, we'll take one of those. I should take a crate potion with us as well. Yeah, sure. Let us go catch up some amazing, fantastic stuff in this ocean. Now, you may be wondering what exactly we're going for. Well, a couple of things. We're going to get up uh, some of the old cap and tuna beards for guide. And by guide, I mean the angler. And by angler, I mean to stick in our safe because, quite frankly, we've already got one. But we're going to store up on them, stock up on them for when... It's a shark out there waiting to kill me. I'm going to stock up on them, ready for... Eek. I can't get out the water. Stock up on them, ready for when he wants them some more. Alright, we'll put those on. We will then stand on the water. We will then uh, put our safe down, actually. There we go. And then we will... Drink that potion and drink this potion. We'll catch lots of fish. And lots of crates, hopefully. You now if we get some golden crates, I would be very, very happy. Uh, because we can get the hardy saddle then, which is the one thing that we're missing. We're catching things quite quickly here. There's a, an iron crate. No, they said silver. It's not silver. You know what? I'm still happy with iron crates because those are pretty good. 46 bait on us. We still never caught... There's a cap and tuna beard. Get away. We still never dragged out um, Tempest Staff, did we? Like I said, we would. So the good thing about having higher fishing power is I believe it also affects the consumption rate of your bait. So you'll notice we still have 46. I was a bit late on grabbing that one. Still have 46 after all of this. I think it's because our we're doing pretty good, so that fishing potion has definitely helped. There's a duck, literally... I got another tuna beard. Oh, this is going so fantastic with these extra... The extra power of our fishing rod and the extra power from the fishing potion is great. The one thing I'm surprised at is our lack of crates. Saying that, we've earned three of them. But I thought with us having a crate potion, we would catch a lot more. Now, if you're wondering why we're so invested on getting lots of uh, quest fish... Well, it's for a few reasons. Some of them you guys have been asking me to work on doing. One of them is, well, well a lot of them involve the quest rewards from the angler. Ooh, 
angler. Some of you keep telling me to get the golden fishing rod, which, well, I need to turn in lots of quests. And some of you are asking me to get special fishing gear, which, again, I need to turn in lots of quests. Some of you are asking me to get lots of uh, mounts, which means um, having better fishing abilities because we need uh, to fish them up. And, of course, getting fishing abilities would help with stuff that the angler drops from his quest rewards. And also the golden fishing rod and items along those lines. So generally, fishing is quite important to us. It's just... Yeah, I understand it's not the most fascinating thing to watch, it's just me doing this all the time. Although, I have to say, we are bringing them in constantly now. And that crate potion I'm very disappointed in. Mainly because it's about to run out, and we've caught four crates. And not a single, not a single golden one, which is what I was really looking for. Now, holy crap, look, we've got four cap and tuna beards on us right now. And one at home. Alright, come on, give me a golden crate in the last few seconds. Six, five, four, three, two. Another cap and tuna beard. <laughs> this is getting, this is actually getting pretty ridiculous. But this works out so well, because now we need, never need to do Captain Tunibeard fishing things ever again. I thought that was another one. You know what, while I'm here. While I'm here. Well, what do we have in here? It would be a freaking Tempest Staff. Of course it would. Of course it would. You know what? You know what? I'm going home. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab up two more crate potions. I know what you're thinking, that's crazy, and yes, it is pretty crazy, but we're going to get two uh, lots of crates, hopefully, from potions. And uh, when I say two lots of, I don't mean two specific crates, I do mean lots of crates two times. If In case my English is evading. Uh, there's a grave here. Duke fish one. That was my Duke fish one death. I think I found that last time as well, didn't I? Cool. So yeah, any Captain Tuna beads we get, we're not massively fussed anymore. Also, I didn't drink my potion. I also didn't bring out this guy. So we've gone through five baits, which, considering the amount of stuff we've caught, is pretty fantastic. Also, I still didn't drink that potion, so I'll get around to doing that now. There we go. Come on, bring on the crates. I just want so many crates. Now, crates are going to be good for us for numerous reasons. Not only are we going to get the hardy saddle from the gold crate, I say we will, we may, it's pure luck, if we even get a golden crate. Not only could we get that, though, but we have a very, very high chance of catching, um, like, apprentice bait and stuff like that, and uh, what's the other stuff called? Journeyman bait, those kind of things. And those types of bait are going to be really good for us, mainly because the amount of bait that it's going to take to catch those chests, uh, those crates, is going to be less than the bait we get out of it. So overall, it's increasing the amount of bait we're going to have. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but you've got to think of it like, remember how much time we spent trying to catch bait and stuff and didn't really get many? By doing this, we should get a lot if we get it in these crates, of course. Now, it is raining, which I believe increases the chances of catching uh, fish and stuff. I don't know if it affects uh, cr uh, crates as well, or just fish, but I guess we'll see. Got one minute 44 seconds left. Oh, my inventory's full. No, it's not full. It just bounced off my face. Just splatted, like, right up against my face. Come on. Minute and a half left. On this potion, at least. I thought there was another... Cap Tuna Captain Tuna Beards look a lot like tuna, and I guess... Now that I've said that out loud, it kind of makes sense why that is. But... Oh, look at all of these. If Every time he asks us for a Captain Tuna Beard now, we are never going to have to come back to this ocean to fish them out. That is so good. That is absolutely fantastic. Now we know that this fishing rod is fantastic for this purpose. And we also know the fishing potions work incredibly well along with it. Now, we've only used 11 bait out here. Oh, 12 now. 12 now, technically, but... Why is there a cloud coming out of the ocean? 
That does not make sense. Uh, so I've used 13 bait now, which is, on the whole, maybe still of benefit to us, because I think from the crates that we do have, we should be getting a fair amount more bait. The one thing that is disappointing me, however, is the lack of top tier crates. We've had, what, two iron crates, or one? And no golden crates. Oh, I love the colour of the line on this fishing rod as well. It's like orangey line. There's another crate. And of course, with it being... You've got to be kidding me. With it being raining, it's now starting to get very dark. We'll... One more potion. Three minutes. Let's do this. It's still technically daytime. You... Oh, there's nine crates. You can tell because it's, uh, oh, the st I think the stars are actually finally beginning to come out. So we might be taking over tonight, which is fine. Because what we can do is, when we get back to the angler, quickly turn in this quest. We have no reason then to be in his house. No reason for him to be, or anyone else to be attacked by wraiths. So be in and out very, very quickly. Oh, will you quit it with a Captain Tuna Beads now? It's getting a bit... Ridiculous. I wish I could turn all of these in. You know, turn them all in and all the quest, quest rods at once. Oh, I actually can't really see my line bobbing up and down because of the... Because <laughs> how dark it is now. But actually, no, I, can't, I can see the line, I just can't see the bobber. The lure, I think it's called. I wouldn't know. I've only been fishing once in my life. Honestly, as a seven-year-old... Probably one of the most boring experiences of my life was fishing. As an adult, maybe I would like it more. I don't know. Maybe if I had like a, a little boat on a canal. Fishing for my supper. That would be fantastic. I'd love that life actually. But uh, just sitting on the side of a ditch when you're seven. Really anticipating catching a fish. And then after like six hours not having caught a single one. That, uh, it gets a little bit boring. I have to admit. Crate nearly broke my skull. Did you see that bounce off my head? Right, so I'm thinking the amount of cap and tuna beards we'll be getting will be significantly lowered now that our uh, our fishing potion has worn off. So we've got a 1 minute 10 of crate potion left on us, so hopefully we can get some... Oh, come on, cap and tuna beard. Hopefully we can get some kind of decent crate coming out of here. I mean, I'm happy with uh, 12 crates overall for three crate potions is not a good return on investment, I don't think. Four crates per potion. That equals, what, one crate every 45 seconds? Hmm. I don't know. Down to 28 bit, but don't worry, we're not going to stay here and use it all. Got 30 seconds left and then we're out. Then we're we're done here. I prematurely brought that in. Come on, no more cap and tuna beards, just crates. You, s you oh. I swear this game has like a built-in microphone or something. And it just hears what I say, just so it can deliberately disobey me. Ah. Now, if you're wondering why do you, oh come on. If you're wondering why do I not fish right next to my safe, why do I wander over here? It's because my buildings are below me, and I'm not entirely sure, but I think it would affect the fishing quality because the depth at which my lure is above is not is not that great. Right, is my potion worn off? I think it's worn off now, isn't it? Okay. Give me this back. Take me home. Right, let's quickly hand in the Cap and Tuna Beard quest, of which I don't actually you know, have a Cap and Tuna Beard on me. Should probably just you know, keep one of these in case. Now, fingers crossed, he actually gives us something that increases our ability to fish. Anything that enhances that is fantastic. Ivan. Oh, he did! You legend! He gave us the angler hat, which I believe increases our ability to angle. <laughs> increases fishing level. Oh, that is fantastic. That is... Fan freaking tastic. 